武士もクラフトエッグバンドリーガールズバンドパーティー Okay, hello everyone. This is Kurokami, and I'm back for yet another Bendori video. So, here we are for the brand new graduation event video. So, I'm really excited for this one. And honestly, I think this is going to be a part one of either a two or three part series. Just because there are so many girls that are graduating and going to college, they all can't fit into this one event, which is obviously the case. Because with this one, we have Aya, Sayo, Chisato, Lisa, and Kanan. Those are the five girls kind of represented in this part. There are many others, but those will be in, I guess, future parts. But anyway, let's get on with the video and check out the background here. So at this school, we have the little billboard and we have the flowers and such. It's really nice just for graduation. So it's a really nice little touch that they decided to do. And, you know, I love that, honestly. And if we go over to the other school, here we have kind of the same thing. Another billboard, some flowers, just, you know, and then we have the Sakura. Oh, just so nice, so nice. Um, It's only these two schools that they're doing it to. Because if we go over to, for example, Morphonica's school, they don't have anything. Which is kind of funny because you'd think even at this school, girls are graduating. It's just not the Morphonica girls. But yeah, let's go back over to one of these schools. But yeah, so it's really exciting. And there's just so much going on. You know, they're building up to this brand new flipping whole update for the sixth anniversary. So really, really exciting. But without further ado, let's hop into the event, shall we? So let me go over here. So boop. Okay, everyone. Hello. Oh my gosh. So here we are for the brand new event. Graduation. The sky in March is clear and blue. Oh man, this one's a big one. It is a versus live and it is the girls graduating. Oh my gosh. Wait. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. If these are part of the event, I'm going to freak out. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, versus Live. We all know Versus Live. I've got to check this out. Wait a minute. Do you get these four stars just by playing the event? Wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got the stamp, which is a, uh, a Conan. Okay. Put that up. Okay. Cool. 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 No way. You get four four stars in the event holy crap oh my gosh so we have our lisa there oh my gosh and then we have our chisato no way well i'm probably like too close to my uh, mic let me push that back okay there we go yeah i was way too close i hope it didn't go like ar, ar, ar. man that'd be really annoying but wow, you get to do that many. Oh my gosh. Wow. And then we check out the people who've placed. So cool, 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 yada, yada. But yeah, going back here, we can go over here and we can check out what we're going to get. Okay, that is the banner. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is the first time they've ever done that according to my knowledge. Oh my gosh. Oh, but they don't idolize. Oh, so they're like the birthday ones. 
where they're just idolized. Interesting. Okay, that is so cool though. Wow, and you see I haven't done anything yet. So we click over here. Yeah, nothing there yet. Um, click over here. We just get the gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then we get over here. I already have my team set up because I knew ahead of time what was going to be happening. And it's happy. So awesome. Oh my gosh. And then we click over here. We have the new song as well. So that is just so cool. And I believe that's called like yellow. I'll have it at the end of the video anyway. But yeah, I know I'm very excited after seeing that. Oh my gosh. And yep, back, 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 back. I, I, I. Okay, well, yeah, now my computer is being loud or whatnot, but anyway, the event just started. I'm going to play it. I'm so excited. Okay, let's check out the uh, the story part. <laughs> okay, now for the story part of the event. And before we even start, I just kind of want to let you know that this whole event has kind of just been the various girls preparing for their graduation ceremonies. So we do kind of hop around quite a bit, so just a warning ahead of time. Well, anyway, our first stop is actually in front of the Yotsuba Women's University. And this is where Aya plans to attend, but first she needs to get the result of her entrance exam. And she's understandably very nervous as she's failed multiple exams already, but it's thanks to both Eve and Maya being with her today that she even had the courage to show up. Now, she's still kind of nervous, so what better way to give her a confidence boost as a bear hug? So the two girls give Aya a bear hug and apparently it works because Aya gets the confidence to run in there to go check. <laughs> well, anyway, we don't actually see her, but we hear Aya cheer. So it's kind of obvious what happened. And that's confirmed when we skip forward a little bit and the three girls are returning from the university and both Maya and Eve are congratulating Aya on a job well done. So now the girls are just kind of trying to decide on how to celebrate this. And that's when they run into both Masking and Pareo. Now Masking, she's quick to congratulate both Maya and Aya, but Pareo, she's a different story. Pareo, she's a huge fan of pastel palettes, so, you know, she's obviously going to be a little bit nervous around them. So she's kind of really hesitant, but that's nothing that Masking can't fix. So after a good knocking around, Pareo finally speaks up. And it's really nice that she does because she gives this really beautiful speech. And it's so beautiful that it brings Aya to tears. So, you know, it was such a beautiful moment, honestly. And we just kind of end with masking. She's just saying how much she respects Aya and that she's happy for her. So then we go over to part one. And now we're at the circle. And Katsumi is recording messages of the girls as a present for the upperclassmen. And of course, being Katsumi, this was a last minute thing, which Ron kind of complains about. But Kokoro, though, she's energetic as ever, kind of even writing down exactly what she wants to say. Now, Mashiro, Sugushi, and Anami, they're a different story. They want to give a message, but they feel like they need a little bit more time to convey exactly what they want to say. Mashiro especially, she's having a really hard time wording exactly what she wants to say. And after talking amongst themselves for a bit and kind of just going over their memories that they've made up until now, Mashiro finally decides that, you know what, maybe they don't need any time to think about what they want to say. They should just be ambitious and do it. And it's kind of funny because they even do the plain words here. So their party will never end as long as they have their bands. Girls band party, come on. <laughs> kind of cute though. But with that, the Morphonica girls, they get in front of the recorder and they give their heartfelt message. So that takes us over to part two. And now we're following Misaki and Arisa. And they're in the student council room and they're working on the massive task that is the graduation ceremony preparation. So it's such a big thing, honestly. And Alisa, she actually volunteered to give the farewell address for the ceremony, but it's actually turning out not to be as easy as she thought it would be. But soon after that, Rinko shows up to where both Arisa and Misaki, they quickly congratulate her for passing her test to get into the music university that she's been wanting to get into. And it kind of turns out that Rinko actually stopped by to report that to her teacher, along with just feeling the atmosphere of the school again, because again, she's not going to be there for that much longer. And Rinko, she's also really busy too, because she's writing the manuscript for the graduation ceremony, 
and kind of felt that just by walking around the school, that would kind of help her because, you know, this is where she's made so many precious memories. And, you know, it's all of these small steps that have got her to where she is now, who she is as a person, you know. And again, referencing one of the other events that we just did. <laughs> but then shortly after, Rinko leaves and we kind of follow her to where she goes to the cafe that Morphonica frequents. And here she's to meet up with Rui. So they do meet up and Rui kind of congratulates Rinko on a job well done. And they just kind of go on to talk a little bit about the universities that they'll go to. And that takes us over to part three. And now we're at the fast food restaurant. Sayu and Toko are hanging out together as Sayu is kind of like Toko's senpai. She's been helping her out with the guitar for quite some time now, so today's no different. And after some fry teasing, Toko actually realizes that she won't be able to attend Sayu's graduation, as her school's graduation is on the same day. Well, Sayu, she completely understands. She even tells Toko, listen, go see your graduates off. It's only fair. And so Toko, she actually thanks Sayo because, again, they work so well together, and, you know, Sayo's helped her out so much. Sayo then says how she's just so thankful for all of the people she's met in these three years of school and just all of the great memories she's had with them. And it's actually because of that that she can graduate so happy. And she even goes on to thank Toko for calling out to her that day to have asked Sayo to be her senpai, to have helped her with the guitar. It was a quite touching scene, honestly, which kind of sparked Toko. So now she's all fired up and she's like, Sayo, I'm ready for your most strictest lesson yet. So they hurry up with the food so they can start practicing. <laughs> so then we kind of switch over now to Kanan and Chisato. And they're going over their commute. So they're going to a new college. So they need to kind of memorize the path. You know what I mean? And they might be going to different schools. But at the very least, the routes are kind of similar. So that's why they're able to hang out together today. And Kanan, Kanan, she's Kanan. So she's very nervous. So that's why Chisato is actually with her too, because, you know, Chisato is very motherly and she's willing to help Kanan in any way she can, especially in the confidence department. <laughs> and they actually see a rabbit, which makes Chisato even comment, hey, Tai would love to be here right now, wouldn't she? Ironically enough, guess who shows up shortly after? Yup, it's Tai, and she had already been chasing that particular rabbit, so it's, you know, a coincidence that they met. Well, anyway, she hears Chisato and Kanan talk, and, you know, they're like, we're gonna be checking out our dorm rooms. And Tai's like, oh, I wanna go, I wanna go, let's go all go together. <laughs> so they're like, oh, okay. So the three go together. Well, now we go over to part four. And now we're following Hina, and she's actually helping Hagumi with her school homework at Sugumi's family coffee shop. So here we actually see how Hina is a great positive teacher. She's even able to motivate Hagumi when she gets something wrong, which really nails down the charisma that Hina has with, you know, whatever she does. So it's at this point that Sugumi shows up with their orders, and Hina comments, that the preparations for the graduation ceremony are going great. To which Sugumi mentions that, well, yeah, everyone's trying their best and it's because of that that they're actually almost done now. Sugumi actually continues by comparing herself to Arisa. As, you know, they're in the same position, but Arisa's just doing so much better. You know, she's holding down the whole other school. So, you know, here, Sugumi's being a little modest, honestly. Well, the two go on complimenting Hina, you know, with Hagumi even saying that Hina's words are almost like magic. Which kind of makes Sugumi sad as she's just like, Hina's gonna be gone soon, but at the very least, her words are in Sugumi's heart. So she knows that, you know, she can at least be a good replacement for Hina. And now the two are really motivated, so it really makes Hina happy because, you know, she was a great person in their life you know she was able to motivate them she was able to help them she was able to be their senpai so you know really really cool so now we go over to Saya and Rimi and they're walking down the Sakura path after their work what were they doing they were making corsages for the third years first time I can use that word in a long time <laughs> and they quickly bump into Kaoru who's actually just walking 
and she's kind of just taking in the scenery of, you know, everything that she's grown accustomed to over the past three years. And it's hilarious here because Rimi, she quickly fangirls over Kaudu as a lot of girls do. And, you know, Kaudu has that charm and it even brings Rimi to tears. <laughs> it's hilarious. And Saya, she's just kind of like in the background. She's like, okay, okay. And Rimi, she thanks Kaudu for everything. And, you know, that it was actually Kaudu that has made Rimi so happy over these years. Well, ironically enough, Kaudu also thanks all of her koneko or her kittens or her underclassmen for making her shine so bright. So now we go over to part five. And now here we're at the school gym and Sugumi is doing a great job at organizing the preparations over the microphone as Moka and Tomoe, they're kind of talking about how much of a great job that Sugumi's doing. Well, soon after Ako, Roku, and Asuka, they show up, but Tomoe kind of points out that Ako looks a little strange. And Roku even mentions that, yeah, Ako has been like this since this morning. Well, Tomoe, you know, she knows her sister, so she even asks, like, why are you feeling lonely? And, you know, Akko tells her that, you know, she's going to be the only member of Roselia not to graduate. You know, so she kind of feels left behind and it's such a sad feeling. You know, it's not something you really want to go through. And, you know, it's something that she's going to have to deal with. But Roku, she even kind of mentions that, yeah, it's going to be really strange not seeing them as much anymore, you know. And Tomoe even mentions that, you know. I had a lot of fun times in this very gym with the upperclassmen, and yeah, that's going to be gone. But, you know, they give these motivating speeches to Akko, and it kind of turns her outlook a little different. You know, because Akko, she's like, you want to know what? Okay, I understand. I know I'm going to cry a lot at the ceremony, but at the very least, I'm going to try my best, at least for the upperclassmen's sakes. So, you know, it's really cool. So they kind of rush off to go help out however they can. <laughs> And lastly, Moka kind of pokes fun at Tomoe because Tomoe, well, you know, she was almost crying when she was saying that, which is kind of adorable. <laughs> so then lastly, we go over to part six. So finally, we're actually at the shopping district. And Lisa had just got off of her part-time job at the convenience store. And this is where Himari runs up to her. And Himari, you know, she's red in the face as she was just talking to Ron about graduation because we all know Himari, she is a very emotional person. Lisa, though, she's been getting a lot of congratulations and flowers and stuff, which she says is a bit embarrassing, but it really shouldn't be. You know, it's a quite an accomplishment, you know, to graduate, honestly. And, you know, it's kind of hilarious because Himari, she then kind of makes herself cry as... She's just thinking about Lisa leaving and how great of a person she is. And it's so sad but hilarious at the same time. <laughs> and what makes it even better is that Lisa's like, Stop, Himari, because you're going to make me cry too. <laughs> so the two both break down and it's, it's, it's hilarious. It's funny. And this is actually where Leia shows up. And after they all calm down, she just kind of thanks Lisa as well for, you know, being a great senior and just congratulating her in general. And after giving a really nice speech, Lisa, she breaks down again. <laughs> it's just so adorable. It really is. And finally, now we're in front of the train station at night and Choo Choo's having trouble reaching the button at the vending machine. <laughs> So this is where Yukina shows up and helps her out because again because poor Choo Choo she's so short <laughs> But anyway, she kind of knows that Yukina is going to be graduating So, you know, she reluctantly, you know, congratulates her and then just quickly bolts off <laughs> And this is actually where Kasumi comes in and she has her camera in her hand and Yukina she even kind of mentions like oh, what's that about? And Katsumi, without even thinking, spills the beans that, yeah, we're making messages for you guys. Like, oops. But Katsumi, you know, she just quickly brushes off her mistake and just, you know, just talks to Yukina about music in general, the love for the music, and that Yukina, no matter what, that's not going to change. Boom. End of event. Okay, so my goodness. 
So that's the end of this part. And you actually see it's not an ending, it's part six, because the next part is going to continue from part seven. So yeah, it's like a two part event at the very least. So yeah. But anyway, really nice. You know, we actually went through all of the characters. It was kind of crazy. I've never seen an event like this before. But you only graduate once. Well, at least most people. But yeah, it was a really good event. Um, I'll talk more about it in the outro. So let's go to the gotcha part of the video, guys. Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to the gotcha part of the video. So here we are with another gotcha with an extremely long name. <laughs> so this one is the Three Years of Memories Graduation Song Gotcha. But yeah, this whole event, the gotcha, everything, it's all about graduation, because, you know, Bang Dream, they're going into the next era. You know, a bunch of these girls, they're graduating, and they're going to college, so it's a really big deal, so... I'm really excited for this one, and you know, um, this is a limited event, or a limited gotcha, so we do have that, so hopefully I get something, but it is really cool though, just because you can actually get two of the five of these cards in the event, and they are four stars, so that is just so cool, it's really nice that Bang Dream did that, just so cool, so I already got the other two, let's hope we can get at least one of these cards, <laughs> but let's check them out. So, here we are with our style. And it's really cool here because they're really basic. It's just their school uniforms except the little flower that they have. You know, just indicating that they're graduating. So that's really cool. So very, very basic, but I like it. And at least you still have your sound bites. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, uh... But let's take a look over here. So these cards are a little special. Because they're like the uh, Kirameki and the birthday cards where they don't actually idolize. They're already idolized. So yeah, only one picture. But still. So we have our Sayo. We have our Kanan. And we have our Aya. And out of all of these, I would probably like to get the Aya the most. Maybe second would be Kanan, then third being Sayo. But really getting any of them would be really awesome. But enough said with that. Um, because again, I don't have any real money right now. We're going to do a regular pool, but I do have enough paid stars for a single pool. So we'll start with that and we'll see what happens. So let's start with our single. Okay. That'd be funny. That would just be funny if once I got a four star from the single. Okay. Here, here's the main event though. Cause again, it is limited. So I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, well, it still could flip. It still could flip. Hey, Aya, what are you doing? Wow, those people are doing their freaking laundry again. I really hope you can hear that. Uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. Oh, no, this isn't looking good. Yep, and then I think this next one's the last one. Yep. Oh, well. Well, I also didn't want to do a lot for this one, too, because there's probably going to be a part two, you know, the next event. And that's going to be Kaoru, Yukina, and I think um, uh, Maya. Yeah, Maya. Yep. So that will probably be the next event. So such as that is. And honestly, I almost have enough of these tickets here to do it. So I'll probably end up doing that for that event as well. I don't know. But okay. Still nice. Didn't really get any of them. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, let's uh, move on to the next part of the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. So, yeah, no luck with the gotcha, but that's kind of how it goes. It was still an amazing event. So let's actually go back to our little event part real quick to show you my placing. So I made it to exactly 18,000th second place. <laughs> Quite an interesting place, honestly, but yeah. Anyway, I'd like to show you the uh, song also. It's called Yell, and oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. I love it so much. It's such an oh, amazing song, but yeah. Anyway... I've really enjoyed this event. It turns out that this is a part one of either a part two or three. I think just part two, but you'll see right here. Here's part two. And because how the dates are actually working, they didn't give us a day off. So it's a one after another, 
which kind of stunk for me because I had to really rush to get all of this done. So yeah, just crazy. But anyway, the other thing that I want to show you is these billboards. They actually got more decorated as the event went on. So that's really, really cool, honestly. If we go back to the other school, we can actually see it even more. So this board was empty when it first started, but now it's completely full, which is really, really awesome. I like the small touch, honestly. So let's go back. And I'm pretty sure that I covered these little things at the beginning of the video. So I should be good on that aspect. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited for part two. Um, this part was amazing. And I guess I will um, see you in the next part. So anyway, this could be Kurokami. And if you liked, please like, comment, subscribe, all the usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.